structurally, the liquid in the syringe appears to be an opiate. Morphine? She wasn't prescribed morphine. Hello? Hello, Astrid. This is Mrs. Stavik. I'm one of Orson's instructors. Is everything all right? No, I'm afraid not. There was an altercation between some of the kids today. It's hard to say who started it, but Orson bit another student. I'm afraid you're going to have to keep him home until... It's hard to say? Orson could have been pushed or provoked. Maybe it was self-defense. Look, we have a very strict policy about violence. Regardless of how it started, we're suspending Orson for a few days. I'm sorry. <sighs> Did I catch you at a bad time? Got the report on the C1 cultures you wanted. Everything okay? Uh, some drama at Orson's school. <laughs> Apparently misbehaved, but it could have been the other kids who started it for all I know. One parent to another? If you let him off easy now, it'll just lead to more bad behavior down the line. Sounds like my mother. If anyone in my family stepped even a toe out of line, we never heard the end of it. I never wanted that for Orson. And he's so impressionable at this age. It takes a lot of work to not become our parents. <sighs> Maybe I'll just give him a good talking to. In my experience, lectures are sometimes not enough. In one ear, out the other. What would you do? Something he'd understand. Like taking away his toys. He'd hate it. And I'm not sure I could handle the tears. We all have to learn that actions have consequences. something to eat, yeah? We have, uh... Oh. Here. Mama kicked me out of the house again. Okay if I stay? Yeah. In a bit of trouble at school, I hear. Well, we'll stay out of trouble here, won't we? He beat someone, huh? When I was his age, I used to bite kids at school, too. Grandpa? Where's Grandma? That's complicated, Lilliman. <laughs> you haven't told him? I was his age when I lost my grandma. My papa's mama. Oh, he was so sad. He didn't come out of his room for a week. That made mama angry. I kept asking why papa was so sad and that made her even angrier. So finally she told me. What did she tell you? What she thought I needed to hear. Grandpa? Where's Grandma? You know that your Grandma loves you very much, right? Just like I love you. And your Mama does too. Where did she go? Well, you see, Lilivan, Grandma... She died. Am I going to die too? Not for a very long time. I don't think I want to. Don't worry about that now, Lilivan. Can you watch him a moment? Orson? Grandpa's going out to check on the farm. Will you be okay playing with your toys for a few minutes? I'll play with Zane. Who is Zane? The man in the fog. Like it here. I know, sweetie, and I promise we'll go home soon. We just need to be here for a little while. I'll go grab the rest of our things. We set up some cots in the meeting room. You and Eric can. I don't want to stay here. Well, we're having a sleepover at mommy's work tonight. Just like we do at grandma's. You can stay up late and play with your toys, but only if you're very brave. Okay, mommy. 
We don't keep the truth from our children. Lies, even small ones, breed blight. I'm sorry. I just didn't want her to be scared. I saw something again tonight. The purifier? I don't know what it was. Xavier, I'm afraid. Not just for me, but for my family, too. Rachel, you are a walking miracle. The purifier would never let anything harm you. What about Eric? What about her? Maybe Krista's right. Maybe I am cursed. Krista is wrong. I'm sure of it. But how do you know? How do any of us know if any of this is true? <sighs> the elders will help us make sense of all of this. Rachel, we love you. And we would never let anything happen to you or your family. You believe that, right? Of course I do. Good. Now get some rest.
Oh! <laughs> 